so the brand new token fest tech bardock is out on jp and i found one as a friend at 100 percent which is awesome with the sticker the sticker is so bad too <laughs> We'll see if the card is bad itself. I've seen some controversy over on Twitter and stuff like that. I will be the judge of that, whether or not he is runnable in under a free-to-play leader skill. Because if he's runnable under the free-to-play leader skill, I think he's, you know, really, really good. Anyway, um, we'll go through his card details as we go through the video. But just to remind you guys, he's a Goku's family and storied figures leader for 170%. And also a Pure Saiyan's leader for the extra 30%. So all Goku's will get that extra... 200% uh, leader skill, which is awesome. Greatly raise attack and defense for one turn on the super attack. The team that I'm going to be rocking, which I consider one of his best free-to-play teams, is this team right here. We're running Gohan as the leader for 120%. Um, the problem with this team or his leader skill is that there's not really a proper leader that is in Team Bardock as well for the 200%. You can do the Super Battle Road Goku as the leader as well for the 120% and the support if you'd like to. But I think the Gohan being in the main rotation tanking is pretty awesome. Um, so that's what I'm doing for today's video. Uh, version Z Goku and the four Bardock squad members I have is STR Bardock, Farsha, Tora, as well as Borgos. Uh, you could bring Shugash as well, but I thought that there was a lot of physical representation. So it just depends on the event that you choose. We're just going to do LGE. I've already done the LGE mission, uh, which I'll post that video in the future. But over 400,000 HP is decent. Uh, I was running him under Team Bardock, and he was, like, hitting 370,000 HP, which was kind of disappointing. So I'm really waiting for the, one, give out the final dupe for the LR Team Bardock, and two, you know, easier him as well. Uh, we are going to float out Farsha. I think Farsha is a good partner for the Bardock as a free-to-play substitute because she can change orbs, which is very important for this Bardock later on. He can change rainbow orbs uh, for the first five turns and seek super attacks. But after that, he will need an orb changer. And I think Farsha, the free to play one, is a good unit to have. Although not defensively well for like red zone if she doesn't dodge. Um, her support is amazing as well if you can uh, put her in the first slot. Which I'll try my best to always do that. Now we do need always need a Goku. Because when you have that Goku, um, you do get that seeking super attack and the 70%. As well. That is a requirement for the Seeking Super Attack. Here's the entrance animation. After reviewing the other entrance animations, I think this is one of the best ones for sure. The OST and everything. Beautiful. Unfortunately, two Bardocks cannot link with each other, but we have to do it anyway. And uh, he starts off with attack and defense was 150% and two key. Uh, and then he gets an additional attack and defense was 40% with each super attack performed up to 120%. So he might not start out well. I've seen him like 1.3 million attacks that for some reason. But you need to build that up for sure. And the boost that he gets through each super attack is calculated separately. So he's actually getting way more than 120% at the end of the day. Uh, you do need to get two rainbow orbs as well to get the extra 50% attack and defense. So then he's even better. Uh, and then if you can, three rainbow orbs for the guaranteed critical. So starting off at 2.3 with no links. I want to remind you, no links. Because you can't link up two Bardocks together. Let's keep um, stacking up here. Now I'll probably try my best to blitz through this as fast as I can. But if the video seems too long for me, then we will um, we'll end it short. I want, to, I want to at least get to Super Saiyan Blue Goku. Or at least the Doka mode with the tech Bardock, right? Because the problem with him is that he has a turn limit of 5 before he loses a lot of his stuff. So we want to at least show him at his best before then. Just obliterated this phase right here. And right, now that we have the Farsha, who can orb change if Bardock's on the rotation, which is awesome. Um, we're going to see if we can dodge with her. And then get that separate boost. Got three rainbow orbs, which is good. Uh, I didn't... The problem with... I guess the one problem with this team is that if you have this kind of rotation, uh, Bardock, the STR one, won't get any links. And he becomes... Although he still have 50% damage reduction, it's going to be much more of a struggle to get super attacks with him and damage with him. No dodge there. Okay, we got the dodge here. She shouldn't kill, hopefully. 
No, that is hacking defense. Maybe we can get a double super with the Sparta if he doesn't kill in one shot. 4.8. Getting there. It's getting there. The fact that he has guaranteed critical is just amazing to me. So you can like almost like kind of forgive him. <laughs> by having a low attack attack because he has somewhat of an easy damage output for all typings. So here's uh, the rotation that I like. The good thing is if Bardock's on this rotation, at least he's got something. And then, um, you know, you have two units with over 50% damage reduction. The Bardock gets 50% damage reduction because we have five Bardock squad members, including Tech Bardock himself. So next turn will be the last turn for the Bardock seeking super attack. And usually this will be his peak ever in the whole entire battle. Because from now on, after he does his final super attack, it's going to be pretty weak. But let's look at his defense stats here. 236 pre-super. Look at all these rainbow orbs. If he had a, like a nuking ability, I would that would have been amazing. But I will say not as good as Goku, just from using him already. Um... Definitely a good second slot unit. But I wouldn't say he's bad. Let's see what he's got here. Six million is his peak. Okay. And then when he super attacks, it's like 500,000 defense or something like that. <laughs> 500 plus thousand on a free to play team. I want to see how he is when, like, you know, after all of the peak has happened. Actually, that's one big deal breaker for sure as well. His peak is not when the active skill is ready. I think if he could use the active skill as well as his final peak, it would have been actually way better. Or maybe he could, but I missed out. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it was, but I missed out. Okay, that might have been my fault. That might have been my fault. My bad. <laughs> uh, let's active skill, though, actually. Maybe we kill. So this is a guaranteed critical. Three million. We'll just grab the two orbs. He's probably going to die here. Hopefully we don't get the Dokomo next turn. We probably will get the Dokomo. <laughs> Let's be honest. Three point six. We'll do one more super attack with this Bardock and then call it a day. I think the team is still very, very awesome, though. You got a first slot unit. It's very rare for a free-to-play team to always have, I guess, two first slot units, technically. You can play the Bardock in the third rotation, I guess. Um, but that's just technically a first slot unit if you get to Dodgers. Um, and yeah, like, nice end rotations as well. And good mid rotations, like... Defensively wise, I think this team is pretty good. The only fragile thing I would say is that Tech Bardock rotation with Farsha. So if Farsha takes a super attack against Red Zone or something, it's kind of over. I feel like if you could have linked these two Bardocks together, it would have been GG's. Would have been GG's for sure. So we'll grab all of these orbs. Make sure we grab as well, that three rainbow orbs. And this will be the final super for the video. Let's just see how strong he is here. Getting double supers is definitely something that you really want early game. So you can get his peak for an extra turn. 5 million damage. I'm pretty happy with that. I don't know. I feel like I was pretty happy with that. <laughs> 
let me know in the comment section. Because I, I feel like 5 million... I guess it's not the greatest because he had, did have type advantage. Now that I'm like looking back, I feel like he's a little bit too weak. A little bit too weak for my liking to like clear red zones like properly. Um, I think the problem is he doesn't like have a built-in additional super attack. I wish he if he had one built-in additional super attack, or built-in normal with a chance of super. I think that would be more than enough. Having the chance of triple super attack critical is crazy good if he had that. Um, and I wouldn't mind his attacks that being that low. But um, the fact that he can go with a turn with one super is pretty problematic. But that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel with the notification bell on so you don't miss out on the daily content. Check out my most social medias linked in the description. With that said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, stay healthy, stay safe, stay fizzy. Peace out.